His views on monetary policy and regulations highly sought after here in the United States and with the global economy experiencing its broadest based recovery in a decade, South Africa is lagging behind. There is no country that had ever sustainably brought down the levels of poverty or the levels of unemployment unless that economy is growing. There is no country I know that had been able to deal with inequality unless that economy is growing. There is no country I know that is able to deal with its fiscal challenges unless that economy is growing. So the message is very clear for South Africa. You want to deal with unemployment, you want to deal with inequality, you want to deal with poverty, get this economy growing. He pointed to South Africa's greater resilience to vulnerabilities than it was four years ago. A stronger balance sheet, fiscal consolidation and eight months of consecutive trade surpluses. But emphasized that monetary policy couldn't do it alone, particularly as it relates to ratings agencies. One of the things that had been raised had to do with the issue of growth and the thing that is coming is that you are not going to be able to get growth by manipulating, just by manipulating fiscal and monetary policy. You need structural change. Uh, that is what everybody is talking about the, uh, the world over and in the case of South Africa. It's not like we have got to try and figure out what these structural reforms are. They are spelled out in the National Development Plan. And then the question of political uncertainty. You're going to hate me for this question, but is there a particular outcome in December that would make your job easier? Um, yes. All right. <laughs> Should we leave it there? Yes. There, there, there will be an outcome that will uh, uh, make my job easier. And that outcome will be an outcome that gives South Africa, removes all the political uncertainties that South Africa uh, has. That uh, outcome should be an outcome that will remove the policy uncertainty that South Africa has. That outcome uh, that would, I, I would favor would be that outcome that restores business confidence and thus set South Africa to take advantage of the resurgence in uh, uh, the global economic activity. He encouraged greater engagement between the private and public sectors and a predictable policy environment that will encourage greater and much needed investment in the country. Sherman Bryce, SABC News, Washington.